Number 1. Herrenhauser Gardens. The pride of Hanover is a chain of gardens from the days of the imperial electors and kings of Hanover. The showstopper is the Great Garden, in a Baroque French style laid out by Electress Sophia of Hanover in the 17th century. The 50 hectare garden is fronted by a palace and enriched with sculptures, fountains, a box hedge maze, an orangery, and dainty bird tree. The orangery is a stately backdrop for classical concerts, and Sophia's Garden Theatre. Number 2. Bird Garden. Another of the Herrenhauser Gardens, the Bird Garden, Mountain Garden, warrants a separate entry in the list. It was started as a herb and kitchen garden for the palace, but Electra Sophia picked the Bird Garden as a space too, to grow exotic plants. An early greenhouse was built in the park in 1686 supporting crops like tobacco and mulberry trees. Nowadays the park is one of the world's leading botanical gardens, growing 20,000 plants from 3,000 species. There are four, numero three. In the 1810s King George III bought an estate to the east of the Great Garden. The property's name was changed from the Walmaden Schloss to the Georgian Palais, and the park was renamed Georgian Garden. On a long, slender plot the gardens, three in the English style with rambling lawns and groves of mature trees. Running straight through the park from end to end is the Herrenhauser Allee, a regal, two-kilometer line flanked avenue. See if you can track down the temple erected in honor. Number 4. Lower Saxony State Museum. With four very different departments exhibiting fine arts, archaeology, natural history and ethnology, you could say that this museum has a bit of everything. The Renaissance and Baroque galleries are bolstered by names like Albrecht Dürer, Rubens, and Rembrandt, but also a fine collection of 19th century art by romantics like Caspar David Friedrich and impressionists such as Max Lieberman. Don't neglect the other departments through where you'll come. Number 5. Sprengel Museum. Displaying a real who's who of modern art in Germany, the Sprengel Museum is a cultural attraction that needs to be on your agenda. The museum was founded in 1979 a decade after the chocolate manufacturer Bernhard Sprengel donated his modern art collection to the city. This has been bolstered by Lower Saxony's own art collections and subsequent private donations to stand as a world-class survey of 20th century art. Both expressionist groups, Die Brücke and Der Blaue. Number 6. New Town Hall. Hanover's resplendent New Town Hall was built at the start of the 20th in a theatrical historicist style. With its soaring dome reaching, towers and location in front of the Mastique Pond, the New Town Hall looks more like. Number 7. Old Town Hall. On marked plots the Old Town Hall is Hanover's oldest secular building, first taking shape at the start of the 15th century. This monument, unmistakable for its elaborate gables, is also the southernmost example of the north. Number 8. Mask Sea. The 78 hectare, man-made lake near New Town Hall was a product of the Great Depression. Hanover had long suffered from spring floods, and as a means to ease both flooding and mass unemployment at the period the city began. Number 9. Mark Kirsha. Hanover's silhouette wouldn't be the same without the 14th century Mark Kirsha in the center of the Altstadt. The distinguishing feature is the tower and its four pointed gables. The story goes that the tower was supposed to. Number 10. Ejidienkirsch. The easternmost of Hanover's old town churches has a history going back to 1163, but was struck by bombs in the war. The nave and chancel have been left in their ruthless, damaged state as a memorial for victims of wars. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.